Hello everyone, you're watching PokerNews.com and we are here at the EPT Season 13 in Barcelona. I am with Byron Kaverman. 2015 was an amazing year for you, Player of the Year, and 2016 has not been too shabby either. Just recently shipped two 25Ks at Aria back to back. So first off, I want to hear a little bit about this, this kind of scene that's been emerging at Aria with the high rollers. For those of us you know, who aren't in the scene, what's been going on? Uh, yeah, real quick to correct you, two, uh, 2016 hasn't exactly been good either, um, but uh, recently, uh, you know, things, things have gotten better. Um, but yeah, the Aria tournament... said no one ever who just won two 25Ks back to back, but okay. The, uh, the Aria tournaments are a lot of fun. Um, Kerry Katz got them together, I think, like a year and a half ago, and it's a lot of the same people um, when it's, you know, not uh, June and July. Uh, they're kind of like monthly get-togethers. People joke about that. We all get along well, have a good time, um, and enjoy playing with one another. And generally swap some money back and forth, but when you win two in a row, not so much. Yes, I had a bad summer leading up to that, so I felt good to get back on the right track. Yeah, it was your time. Well, of course also, it looks like you're getting a little bit of sun, and I can only imagine this is because you're still training hard for your triathlon? Uh, yes, I have been. Um, I have been doing a lot of training. Um, Barcelona has been a good place for it too, um, with the trail out here and there's some beach clubs and things like that. So I've been out um, every morning uh, for the most part and enjoying it. You're, you're looking very fit. So in terms of progress timeline, how how far along are we? Uh, I have about three months. I'm going to do the one in Palm Springs, uh, California, on December 4th. Wow, so it's going to be really it's, hot. It's, um, I'm not sure about that. It might be, it might be all right. I actually don't know like the exact temperature. I don't think it's going to be overly hot. Uh, but the three months are coming up, and it's a, it's a lot of work. I'm not so sure I can get there, but I'm going to give it a try. I'm doing my best. I think you're going to be fine. You look fit. And now, I know that you're always, you know, you're a big soccer player, and um, Donnie recently moved from Las Vegas, which he was on your team. He's, you guys are on a big team with a lot of poker players. Yes. So, you know, have you guys found a replacement? <laughs> uh, Donnie's, Donnie's spot is always going to be there. Um, We've had, a, we've had some intense battles together, and uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Um, I know he moved to L.A. recently, but I'm sure he'll be back um, in the summers when we're all playing together, and you know maybe we can play in uh, L.A. and San Diego sometimes together as well. I mean lame, Donnie. You know what I mean? Leave a team high and dry. I can't believe you. I'm starting the hashtag RIP if, if, if he doesn't come back to town for uh, the, the, WSAP, the WSAP tournament next, next year, we're no longer friends. That's, That's it. That's yeah, the that's end. A fact, Donnie. Donnie, you're gone. He's going to be doing triathlons. You're going to be just, oh, hanging around in L.A. Forget it. All right, well, we, of course, wish you luck in this tournament and all the time. We just saw you take down a pretty sizable pot at a really unfortunate day one table draw. Byron Kaverman, I'm Sarah Herring. You're with us on PokerNews.com.